How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Card Collection back with a Mail Day Monday video. Today just one package. I'd like to open these up and show you guys what sets I'm building and uh, what TTM fuel I'm getting. So enough of that. Let's get through this, uh, this package here. I tend to buy a lot of my TTM stuff from the same guy, my TTM fuel. Um, and he ships everything in card savers and it's all, it's always pretty nice. So get through this uh, this cardboard here. I don't know how many cards I have this week to go through, but usually it's around 20 or so. Try to buy, you know, a couple a day and then adds up over, t over throughout the week. All right, I'm already seeing a couple of really nice cards. All right, let's get this out of here. I got tape stuck to my finger and everything, all righty. So first card. TTM Fuel, I believe all three of these guys signed through the mail. I think Luis Tiant's like a $5 fee, Danny McLean's a $10 McPhee, fee, and I think uh, Sam McDowell's actually free. So, would love to get all three of them to sign this card. I don't know what order to send it in. Just this, just a little bit. Maybe Sam McDowell first, Tiant second, and then McLean. I think McLean's a little more reliable. Maybe Tiant too. So, but I think it would be awesome to get this card signed by all three of them. Another TTM Fuel, 1967 Camila Pascal. Um, really good pitcher in the late 50s and throughout the 60s. So, nice little Senators card here. Oop. Nice little Senators card here for the 67 tops. TTM legend Roy Face. Um, actually just got a return back from him not that long ago. I don't know if I'll send another one out to him or not, but I thought it would be cool to have this card and... If I send it, great. If I don't, it'll go in my 67 tops uh, set. More TTM fuel, hopefully. Um, saw recently where Jim Cott might not be signing through the mail anymore. Um, I was trying to get a few cards together and send to him. I know he donates it to a, a local charity. So I'm hoping that rumor is not true and he is still signing through the mail because I'd love to send him the 67 tops. If not, it'll go right into the set. Tom Woodishek, very random one here, um, but I love these 71 tops because of the color. Uh, he is, I don't know if it's on here or not, yep, school right here, West Virginia. He is in the WVU Hall of Fame, so love to add this to my collection. I think he was a one-time pro baller, but the w WVU connection uh, has me wanting to send this off to him. More TTM Fuel, 68 Phil Necro. I have not sent him before, but I believe he charges $25. So, be great to get this Hall of Famer into the collection. Oh, here we go. This guy is a TTM legend, Mr. Bobby Shantz. 1960 Tops card. Lee Smith. I'm not actually sure if he signed through the mail, but this is his rookie card. It's an 82 Tops. And I think it's in pretty good condition and figured why not just pick it up. It was really cheap, maybe like a dollar or two. And if he doesn't sign through, then that's okay. Maybe I'll see him at a card show at some point and get him to sign it. I've been seeing a lot of people get Dan Fouts back. And I sent to him a while ago and have not gotten him back. So I figured I'd pick up this card for like a dollar. I want to say it's a 1978 Tops. Maybe I can confirm that. Yeah, 78 Tops. And um, hopefully I can get it from him. I do not have a Dan Fouts autograph. So I've tried getting him through the mail. Hopefully this is the, the key. All right, on to some set building. 1961, Orlando Cepeda. Hall of Famer. I want to say this is his third year card. Really nice looking card though. Really clean front and back. Ooh, centering's a little off, but that's okay because the front is so clean. That's all you're going to see in the binder. So... Really happy I had that. Lance Allworth. I'm not sure if he signs through the mail or not. Um, if I really like the look of this card. Again, 71 tops. I love the colors on it. If he doesn't sign through the mail, that's okay. I'm happy I had the card to my collection. I'm going to have to do a little more research on it. I want to say he does sign through the mail, but it's sporadic and he charges a high fee. So we'll see how this one ends up. Okay. This is the big one of the lot, 1963 Brooks Robinson. 
So I've been working on his uh, kind of player era collection, not autographs or anything. I I only have one signed card of his, and that's from 1958 tops. Um, so his second year card. But I really want to get all of his cards from his playing career. I think there's goodness. There's probably got to be 25 or so of them. So really happy to add this card. I think I picked it up for around forty dollars, but it's in fantastic shape. The 63 tops cards. The edges down here are always messed up, especially these two corners where the colors are. And then the centering left to right is always messed up. So I figure this card just, it looks great. Um, and if I don't get him through the mail at any point, I don't know if I'd want to send this through the mail. Hopefully I'll see him at a card show or something. This is TTM Fuel. I got one Marichal and some Gypsy Queen cards a month or so ago. This is a 69 tops card. He charges $10, um, turnaround times around two weeks, and I always try to send out uh, Gypsy Queen cards or something like that as kind of a, a test run, and then try to put together a couple player error cards to send later on, so this is the first of those player error cards I'm going to try to send to him. And then, speaking of TTM Fuel, Raleigh Fingers. So we got him too a little bit back, I actually got him on a 72 tops. This is a 79, no, I lied, it's an 81. 1981 tops with the Brewers. So, this might have been, never mind. I, I had a feeling he was traded to the Brewers from the Cardinals, but I probably have that wrong. I thought he got traded for like Ted Simmons and maybe it was Bruce Sutter or something like that. There's no Cardinals on here, so maybe he signed with the Cardinals or got traded to the Cardinals and then they flipped him to the Brewers, but I got to pick up on my history there, guys. But yes, more TTM fuel. This one has that nice handlebar mustache. My 72 tops did not, so I think it'd be cool to send this off to him. But that's all today, guys. A nice little stack of TTM fuel and then one set card, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you all are getting tons and tons and tons of TTM returns. Um, and I hope you all have a great holiday. But thank you for watching. I'll see you hopefully on the next video. Bye.